Right, hello everybody and welcome to another Steam Next Fest video and today we're playing the Route 66 Simulator Demo. Have you ever dreamed of leaving everything behind and setting out on a great road trip across the United States? Get a budget, build your car and make your dream come true. Try to survive on the most famous road in the world. I'm quite interested in this game, it looks pretty chill. It says try to survive but surely, you know, nothing's gonna murder me. Though then again, uh, a part of the trailer just popped up and maybe something will try to murder me, <laughs> but we'll see. I love driving games and this looks like a very interesting but also kind of strange one, but I'm quite excited to give it a go. So we're going to play 25 minutes, half an hour-ish, just like the other demos, and see what I think. Ooh. Ho 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 ho. Holy shit, are you good? My god, I'm sorry PC, I'm sorry you had to go through that, that was horrific. Right, here we are at the main menu after some technical hiccups, and by that I mean immediately turning VSync on, because without it, it was rinsing my CPU so badly that OBS was running at 3 FPS. So, just a recommendation, if you play this game, you should probably turn VSync on, because it wasn't on by default and it, it, it did not work. But here we are, we've got a lovely Ford Mustang. This looks exactly how I expected it to, just barren. The middle of nowhere, Route 66. Let's get into it. Oh, we have map selection. Interesting. Okay. I, I would have thought it would just be all one map. Oh, we're in. Right. Do we have controller support? No. Okay. <laughs> there goes that then. A simulator of traveling along the road number 66 in the USA. Drive all the way from start to finish. Have to earn money so you have something to live on in the process. In the process travel. Process of travel and that you have money for fuel upgrades to yours car. Various random events will be waiting for you. Excellent. Right, let's go. Oh my goodness me. Hey look, we got a we got a PS3. Oh sick. Whoa. We've got a, a PS3 and we can only walk forward. We cannot strafe. Okay, do we need to take anything from this disheveled house? Binoculars, yes. Ooh, that's not what I expected that to do. Right, interact with many elements, talk to every character to learn a bit about where you are. Search every room, every cupboard, and every chest. Okie dokie then. We have batteries. Do we have an inventory? Like, do we have a limited inventory? We do, okay, so we can only pick up various things. Do have money. We need to pick up a flashlight, batteries, a protein bar. And a soda can. Those objectives are hidden behind the webcam, which I will move in just a second. Or do I need to? I feel like it's not that important that you see the objective. The objective is don't die. Also, why do we keep all of our money in cupboards? What are we what are we doing with our life? Is this how we live? Is this how we live? We just we just get our paycheck and we just throw it around various places in the house? Right, all we're missing is a soda can. Medicines! Yes. Ah! Is that it? Are you my soda can? <laughs> you know, I thought this game would involve a lot more driving. Oh, sardines. Sick. Right, assemble all the necessary parts to be able to go on a journey. That is extremely unspecific. Aha! Parts exchange. With every mile you travel, your engine parts will wear out. Search abandoned cars, trade with fences, or steal parts. Okay. Wasn't aware there was going to be some thief sim in here. Cooler. Yeah. Open mask. Okay, well, slot that in. This is how you make a car. Wheels. We don't even have wheels. Goodness me. Okay, I need to fiddle with some settings. Turns out there aren't a lot of settings to fiddle with. So I'm just going to have to live with not being able to uh, remap buttons. But that's okay. Demo is demo. Breaking news. Fuel filter! Uh, that goes that goes in here somewhere. Again, I, I'm not an expert. Fuel filter. I am strong, though. Not an expert, but I am strong. Uh, the car is now just... <laughs> ah, fuel, here we go. No nozzle. Oh, God. Well, <laughs> I can't really reach a lot of this, to be honest now, because I've somehow... Um, 
pushed the car into my shelving. Ah, that's our inventory in there. Okay. Where does the fuel filter go? I've dropped it. You know what? We'll figure this out as it comes. We'll just put everything else in. <laughs> and then we'll figure this out. I feel like this guy that we're playing as probably should have constructed this car a little bit in advance. You know? I'm not really sure why you've left this until right now. I'm guessing we need to put the fan on before we put the belts on. Fan. Already holding parts. Okay, can we just... Can we just whoa, we can zoom... Oh my god! What kind of cyborg eyes have I got? Incredible. Right, just put that on the floor. That's fine. It'll live. <laughs> I am a responsible adult building a car. Uh, right, now we've got a fan. I'm guessing we can put the belts on it. V-belt 2. Okay, this is V-belt 1 that I'm holding, allegedly. Just pop that in there. Gotta be very precise. Who'd have thought this is how I'd be spending my Sunday? Just Man's just building a car. V-belt 2. Goodness me, I wonder how much of this I'll edit out. None of it. You're sticking with it. <laughs> you are sticking with it. It's incredible how he does that hands-free. Right, what am I missing? What have we got over here? Gloves. And a skateboard. Oh, can we just take the skateboard? Right, so... I'm guessing we must have put the fuel nozzle in. What don't we have? Ah, lots of things. Ignition coil, alternator. Uh, yeah, you go in there. And the... Oh, that's where the fuel filter goes. Uh-oh, where did I put the fuel filter? Did I put it in the trunk? I have a feeling I... Yeah, I did put it in the trunk, actually. <laughs> just... uh, that is exactly where I put it. Can I just... Oh, that's just... Yep, yeah, that... Mm. That's an issue. Uh, I think that rolled under the car. <laughs> I am not doing well here. Can we crouch? We can. We can crouch. Where is my fuel filter? <laughs> oh, Christ. He's, he's made mistakes here. Can we just get in the car and move it, like, th three feet forward? No. Okay. Well, um... Uh, we've we've had an incident. This is classic Zion behavior. In my defense, I didn't think the car would roll. Oh, hang on. Oh, yes. Yes, we have it. Fuel filter achieved. How do I put how do I put that in there? No, just just let me let me oh, okay. Oh, that menu's now that mm, that's now stuck on my screen. Okay. Drop. No. Hold. No, just just hold it. Hold it in your damn hand. <laughs> why, why, why are you the way that you are? Use item. Yes. Ha! Ha ha! Now we're getting somewhere. Um, not Route 66, but somewhere. Job jobbed. Right. Ten minutes in. Killing it. Absolutely killing it. Having to drive with Wazda. Ooh. It sounds like a dream. Kind of. Also feel like I'm going way too fast. Oh! Ah, oh, yeah, that classic Ford Mustang sound. It's almost like it was just reassembled in someone's garage with a lot of parts that had just been lying on shelves for God knows how long. <laughs> yeah, listen to that. Listen to that baby purr. You know, I'm at least refreshed by the fact that this isn't a post-apocalyptic game because I, I feel like there's enough of those. Enough of those kind of games where it's like, you must build a car and drive into the wilderness. By the way, everyone's dead. But no, everyone's just alive and well. And I will... You know, I have I have a horrible feeling that this is kind of like my summer car, where if I crash, I'm just I just become a statistic. You know? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> yeah, that is that is sounding healthy. Hello, 
I am a paying customer. I let me out. <laughs> this feels so clunky to me because, um, for context, I'm left-handed, so I usually remap everything. But can't can't be doing that apparently. Hello, ladies. Uh, don't mind me. I've just come to refuel. The car is your best friend. Fuel and engine oil require regular refilling, so do this whenever possible. Yes. Do we need to... No nozzle. You're a nozzle. Ah. Do I need to... Yes! Here we go. Alright. <laughs> Why am I dressed like a serial killer? Why am I wearing a leather jacket and leather gloves? Alright. Fill me up. How much? I've got two hundred dollars. Oh my lord, I'm rich. Let's. God, that's ex holy shit. That's expensive. Two hundred dollars for a, a full tank of gas. What year is this? Oh, that was just all my money. <laughs> Look at the way this is attached. By the way, yeah, perfect. That's how you refuel a car. Replace the nozzle because I'm a good person. Hello, friend. I've walked into a Don McLean album. Alright, if you want to make some money, look for bulletin boards and do small jobs. This is deafening. <laughs> some jobs will require more effort, but the reward will be commensurate with the work done. That is a fancy word. Uh, hello. Good morning. Carry this cargo for me. That sounds super illegal. I mean, what <laughs> what is the cargo? <laughs> Deliver it to the bartender. Can do. Aggressively loud gas station music. Right. Um, I feel like this guy's asking me to do something super illegal. I also feel like I didn't actually pick up what he wanted. Sorry, mate. What What was it you... Oh, you just this. Yeah, my bad. Sorry. I'm, a, I'm, I'm new, okay? This is definitely illegal. Whatever is in this, it's super illegal. Urgent delivery for the bartender. Yeah, okay. Well... No, 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 don't drop it. Put it in, in the car. Cool. Let's go and not deliver stolen human organs. It's interesting that I can move forward and backwards with up and down arrows, but I can't go left and right with the arrows. It's a strange distinction there. <laughs> it feels so unsafe. Hey, we have a handbrake. What if I just... Whoa! Yep. Does uh does exactly what I thought it would, actually. So far, this is quite pleasant, actually. You know, um, illegal deliveries aside. Quite fun. The music was hilariously loud in there. Speaking of music, have we got a radio in here? What else we got? I think we're good without music. You know, I think we're okay. I tell you what, it's kind of relaxing actually. Is this what it's like to live in America? Is this what it's like? I don't know, let's find out when we get to the bar. I'm going quite quickly now, but I refuse to break. I tell you what, for an old car, it's pushing, pushing 90. Uh, something broke. Yep. Well, wait, what, you didn't see me? Listen, my V-Belt 1 has broken. Alright? <sighs> well. <laughs> I guess this is my life now. You know, I said this wasn't a post-apocalyptic game, but apparently, you know, you go to someone's abandoned house to try and find some car parts and there's a bear trap. <laughs> okay, you will also encounter spike strips and police blocks that will prevent you from continuing your journey. Um... We've taken a real turn in this game, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> we have taken a real turn. I thought this was going to be some relaxing summer adventure. This is how you search cars, by the way. <laughs> I 
I don't know what we just... We just got all sorts of stuff from that, apparently. Or is that just us finding out what's in there? Can I not just open it and have a look? Where did all that stuff go that we just found? Is it in me? Is it in my inventory now? Or Yeah, it's just a bear trap in someone's... Okay. Can we just... E. I love that the animation for doing anything with your hands is just... Like you're cosplaying some sort of cat. Now that it's mentioned there's traps and stuff, I'm waiting to just get blown up by a landmine or something. And note! Very ominously turned around. Doesn't actually say anything on it, though. Oh, 2137. It does say something. Okay. Well, now we have a, a, a safe code, I guess. What kind of weird adventure are we going on? Like, it doesn't... We've got a house. We've got a car. It doesn't seem like we're some sort of aimless drifter. Is this is this what we do for fun in the summer around here? We just build a car and go and <laughs> steal things from abandoned homesteads? I'm really wondering how many cars there's going to be in the queue when I get back. It seems to be indicating that the V-Belt is in this car, but I'm not entirely sure where or how. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> We're getting warmer. Oh, bear trap. I have to be crouch. I have to I have to be crouch. Uh the V-Belt is Oh, a rock. Why would I pick that up? Well, whoever lived in this house was just collecting rocks, and honestly, I think that's just none of our business. Oh, that was the... Wait, there's another V-Belt. Well, I'll take both of them. Can I not just put that in my inventory? Ooh. <laughs> All right, I guess I'm just going to hold this V-Belt. Back to my car. Which I definitely left over there, but the objective marker is getting further away. Like, the closer I get to my car, the further away it tells me it is. That's strange. Yeah, this is uh, quite the incident that I've caused here. Two lanes of traffic, actually. Incredible. Good work. Right. Belt. Uh. Uh. Oh, do I? Oh, for goodness sake. I have to pick up the old V-belt to put the new one in. So let me just... <laughs> Let me just unceremoniously throw that on the floor. Take that out. Uh, just chuck that there. Uh, if anyone wants a V-belt, uh, it's yours. Go for it. It doesn't... I mean, it looks perfectly fine, but apparently it doesn't work, so... Uh, have at it, I guess. Goodness me, you have to be so precise with this. Right, there we go. Job jobbed. Let's get out of here. Hello, friends. I'll be out of your way in just a second. Ah, I think that objective marker is for the bartender, actually. The one that says, fix you car. Okay, maybe I shouldn't drive at 90 miles an hour this time. That's probably what caused the V-belt to go pop. <laughs> but there you go. I can't help it, though. All right, we'll go at a, a healthy 60. Look around dive bar. Yes, please. Is this a strip club? No, it is drunk pub. Hello. I've always wanted to go to drunk pub. Look around. Oh, well, this looks lovely. I mean, I think I have the package in my hands. I do. I'm not entirely sure how we... Is this the trunk over here? Because we got a lot of just crap, you know? Got some sprats if I get hungry later. We can craft as well. Interesting. Is this your car, madam? I'm just going to have a look through it. Don't mind me. Music's kicking in again. Section 60 down in Arlington. Bartender. Oh, we can play the ball game. Oh, man, I'm in. As you search abandoned places, you'll find valuable items and other finds. Exchange them for cash at local merchants. Good stuff. Don't have package. Uh, listen, that's a very personal claim. Goodness me. Right. Apparently, that was my trunk. The uh, This little box on the left. Let me... Ah, right. Okay. I got you. I got you. Back to the music. Do I not have... Okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Turns out I'm stupid. Oh, I do have the package. It's it's in my it's in my hands. 
Okay, after a lot of back and forth, turns out you need to be actively holding the box in your hands. Not just in your inventory. Here you go. There you go. Money? Good morning. Uh, I will accept a mission. Why not? You gave me $1,000 for that. A truck carrying cargo was attacked and the delivery was stolen. All right. I'll tell you what, this, this world, this world we live in, it's pretty dark. I'm doing important things now. I got no idea where the ball was, but I, I think it was in there. Oh, yeah, baby. What did I win? Oh, I just won 25 bucks. Thanks, mate. See ya. Well, this has been enlightening. I feel like I need to dig a little bit further into this game. <laughs> so far, it's quite bizarre, but quite enjoyable, actually. I'm actually a really big fan of these, like, goofy simulator games because they don't shy away from how silly they are. Like, they know this game is silly, and I'm totally on board with it. So, so far, quite enjoyable. Right, and there we have the intro of Route 66 Simulator, the demo, about 25 minutes of uh, chaos and Zion not knowing how to build a car. So, if that's your thing, me not included, I don't come with the game, you should give Route 66 Simulator a try. I was quite enjoying that, actually. Like, it was pretty fun. I didn't want to make, like, a super, super long video of it, but I definitely want to play a little bit more because that was quite enjoyable. Controls, a little bit clunky, but I expect that. Whenever I see a game that is labeled something simulator, I expect it to be a little bit clumsy because that's just the way those games are built. Like it's very, you do very minute things with your hands. And so it, it kind of has to be a little bit clumsy. Like obviously you need to use the mouse to point at all these things while clicking things. Did notice that with the engine bay of our car, which is just ruined already, by the way when we're just putting in parts in a very finicky kind of way. But, so far, actually quite enjoyable. That's <laughs> it's pretty fun. I love just blank simulator games. They're very silly. Like, if you just look at, like, Thief Simulator or Mechanic Simulator or uh, PC Building Simulator or what was that other one that was... Isn't the one that's just called Hand Simulator? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but they're all just very goofy fun and I'm a big fan of that and this reminds me a lot of my summer car which is a similar kind of game but set in I think it's Finland because it's just hilarious and this looks kind of along the same vein and I'm into it so if you want a silly goofy bit of fun uh go have a look at Route 66 Simulator let me just give you some more info it is set for release in Q3 2023. Excuse the editing there. The Steam store took a really long time to load. Q3 2023, developed by Grande Games, NPC Games, and published by Playway. So, no price as of yet, but you can go and wishlist it, and it will be out Q3 2023, which is July to September kind of time. So, expect it around then. Thank you very much for watching, make sure to give this video a like, subscribe if you want to see more videos similar to this one, and join me over on Twitch four or five times a week for all sorts of games. Thank you again, have a great day, I'll see you in the next video.